Hello, friends. Happy December 11th to all of you. So, yes, friends, we have a new update on stimulus. One time $1,500 inflation relief payments are going to be deposited for some Americans in just four days. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has also released new information on the current state of negotiations. My friends, Please do me a favor and make sure that you watch until the end of this video to find out if you will be receiving $1,500. Also know that I'll be giving away a $50 Walmart gift card every day this month of December. If you would like to enter these giveaways, simply click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. Friends, the more videos that you comment on, the greater your chances of winning these daily giveaways. So more action is being taken by lawmakers. Several Democrats have urged Congress to approve a new stimulus payment that may be worth as much as $3,600. So far, there were three rounds of federal payments between 2020 and 2021. Payments have been sent out on the state and city level to help cash-strapped Americans. Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff who represents California's 20th Congressional District in the House of Representatives, has recently sent a letter to Speaker Nancy Pelosi and the current House Majority Leader, Steny Hoyer, calling on the politicians to take action as quickly as possible. His request comes just a month before the GOP will assume leadership of the House of Representatives following the midterm elections. Adam Schiff has also called for the child tax credit to be expanded by the end of this year. The child tax credit was expanded from $2,000 to $3,600 for 2021, but has since lapsed. Schiff also has stated, while this Congress has delivered on many priorities, we are faced with a choice to continue essential programming that families desperately need, like the child tax credit. It is important that lawmakers do send out more financial relief to the American people, especially as many families are struggling to make ends meet and the prices of everyday essentials are at record high. Congressman Adam Schiff called for the credit to be expanded from $2,000 to $3,600 per child age 0 to 6. He also said that the amount should be raised from $2,000 to $3,000 per child over the age of 6. Many cities and states have provided relief to citizens who are struggling financially. In the state of Arkansas, eligible teachers in the 4th Mid School District will receive a one-time bonus check of $1,500 just in time for the Christmas holiday. These bonuses are said to provide relief to nearly all teachers at the 4th Mid Public Schools for working through the crisis and having to adapt to remote learning. The $1,500 bonus checks were approved in May by the school board and are set to be delivered by the end of this month. The one-time bonuses will only go to select veteran teachers in the Fort Smith school system. Principals and assistant principals also qualify, but district level administrators do not. The bonus payments will be a helpful boost for eligible teachers as inflation remains very high going into the busy holiday season. Friends, the keyword for this video today is Peppermint, if you would like to enter today's Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below this keyword, which is Peppermint and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And friends, remember that the more videos that you comment on, the greater your chances of winning these daily giveaways. Now, friends, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer announced today that Senator Kristen Sinema's exit from the Democratic Party will have little impact on the chamber's business next Congress. Senator Chuck Schumer said that despite becoming an independent, the Arizona lawmaker will keep her committee assignments. That signals Sinema will most likely caucus with Democrats as she does now, which will let Democrats keep their 51 to 49 majority. Senator Chuck Schumer told reporters that Kristen Sinema's departure from the Democratic Party will not change the way that the Senate operates. Schumer said, I believe she's a good and effective senator, and I'm looking forward to a productive session in the new Democratic Majority Senate. We will maintain our new majority on committees, exercise our subpoena power, and be able to clear nominees without discharge votes. 
Chuck Schumer's comments came after Sinema announced her decision to become an independent. Sinema's move had the potential to undercut Chuck Schumer and Democrats, who expanded their majority within the Senate this midterm cycle. Democrats went into the election with the Senate split 50 to 50, and their party only holding control of the chamber, thanks to the tie-breaking vote of Vice President Harris. When all the votes were counted, however, Democrats wound up with 51 seats. The expanded majority was set to give Democrats more power next Congress by giving the party greater representation on committees. Currently, Republicans and Democrats share equal representation. That reality has made issuing subpoenas more difficult because in some panels, a majority vote is required. One senior Democratic aide said, since the Senate is organized on a majority basis, Democrats would have more power over committees and legislation if the majority is 51 seats. If it's 50 to 50, the good news is that nothing changes, but that's also not an optimal place for a party official in control. So dear friends, what are your thoughts about Senator Sinema leaving the Democratic Party? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Well, my marvelous and magnificent dear friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this Sunday evening. Thank you so much, friends, for joining me here and watching all of the new videos that I post. I will be announcing a new winner for the $50 Walmart gift card in a video later today. So please make sure that you do stay tuned for that video. Thank you, my friends, and have a wonderful and blessed Sunday. Madam President, Americans are suffering. Everywhere Americans turn, they're being asked to pay more. More for cleaning supplies, more for gas, more for health insurance, more for groceries. A new analysis yesterday from the Joint Economic Committee found that inflation will cost the average American household a staggering $718 a month over the next year. $718 per month. Madam President, that will happen even if prices stop going up tomorrow. $718 per month. More than $8,600 for the year. No working family can afford that. Madam President, a major reason that we're in this crisis is because of Democrats' decision to flood the economy with unnecessary government money with their so-called American Rescue Plan Act. And unfortunately, there is no easy solution to the crisis that they helped create. But the first thing, the first thing should be to do no more harm. Incredibly, however, Democrats are currently attempting to double down on the strategy that helped create this crisis in the first place by passing a version of the Build Back Better tax and spending spree they tried to force through last year. Apparently, Democrats think more government spending, like the government spending that helped get us into this mess, plus new taxes, are a good solution for an inflation crisis and an economy teetering on the brink of recession. Madam President, if Democrats want to help our country get out of this inflation crisis, more unnecessary government spending and new taxes are the exact wrong way to go about it. In fact, the biggest thing that Democrats can do to avoid making this crisis worse by flooding, is by flooding the economy with more unnecessary government money. And after that, 